Hi, my name is Ryan O'Connell and welcome to this quick training session Azure Quick Start Templates. This is going to be a basic overview of what Azure Quick Start Template is and how to deploy an Azure Quick Start Template. Well, Azure Quick Start Templates, Microsoft provides hundreds of Quick Start Templates uh, for getting started with automating your cloud storage infrastructure. You will also see an automated approach to setting up your cloud storage and combining it with the power of cloud. This template references the necessary images and source repositories to build and deploy that application uh, that's related to that Quick Start template. Microsoft Azure Quick Start templates have all the configurations that the users need to set up the environment. Quick Start templates are open source and are available on various platforms. It offers a constant configuration and provides an easy way to deploy an application or application code to the Azure Cloud Storage. How it works, we have the portal, we actually log into the Azure portal, we actually browse to our Quick Start template, we select our Quick Start template, it then deploys to a resource group and inside that resource group we'll have a virtual machine and we may want to install Windows on that virtual machine and that template knows where to actually uh, create that virtual machine and which resource group to put it in. Um, a lot of Quick Start templates can be found from the GitHub uh, repository. So it's really uh, amazing. And again, thank you guys for uh, creating these Quick Start templates. Thank you, Microsoft. Thank you to all the developers, IT pros, uh, IT uh, enthusiasts that actually go out their way to make these templates for us and to make our lives easy. So I want to say to all of you that participate in this, thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, our template deployment, we're actually going to go to the Azure portal. We're going to select our quick start template, which is going to be a Windows Server 2019 VM. And then we're going to go ahead and deploy it. So in this lab, like I say, we're going to deploy a quick start template. So we're going to switch over into the portal and get this done. But before we do that, I want to thank you all for subscribing to my training videos. I want to thank you all for uh, supporting me on LinkedIn. I want to thank you all for uh, the amazing encouragement you have given me. So I want to thank you. So that being said, let's dive in and go and deploy an Azure VM using a Quick Start template. Hi, as you can see, I've gone ahead and logged into the portal. So the first thing I want to do is create a resource group. I'm going to select resource group from my menu here. If you don't see it here, just go to the top and type in RES and select resource group. This will open up the resource groups blade. Click create. And I'm going to go ahead and paste a name in that I have already in Notepad. And I'm just going to call this Quick Start Template Lab. Click review and create. And then click the create button. Once this has been created, we're going to go ahead and create our VM using the quick start templates so I've got templates in the menu here if you don't see it here just go to all services and then just type in TEMP find templates and then move over and select this little icon this little star here and that'll pin it to your favorites or you could go to the top here and just type in TEMP and you would select templates move over to the marketplace and select deployment using a custom template so I'm going to do that. And of course, this will take us to our custom deployment. I can go ahead now and deploy a Linux machine, a Windows machine, a web app, an SQL database, or I could even edit my own template if I had it in a JSON file or a template that I may have previously downloaded. But because we want to use a quick start template, I'm going to click create virtual machine. I'm going to go ahead and select my resource group, which is quick start template lab. I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to type in my username, which would be AZ Admin. I'm going to type in my password. And I'm going to accept the defaults. Obviously, I could choose what version of server I wanted. So I'm going to just stick with uh, 2019 Data Center. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give my VM a name. So I'm just going to change it from Simple VM to Quick Start VM. I'm going to click... Uh, review and create. This is going to go away and do a validation process for us. Obviously, if we made a mistake somewhere, this wouldn't be green, this would be red, and we'd have to go back and fix up our issues. But in our case, we're all good to go. I can scroll down, just confirm everything all looks good. 
and click create and what this will do now this will go away and deploy that template and that template in return will deploy that virtual machine for us and this can take a few minutes to deploy it's pretty quick so what we'll do is we'll just wait for that deployment to complete and as you can see that deployment completed pretty quick if I move over to my template over here I can see my template and I just want to show you this guys this is what we call JSON format and this gives me information all about my template if I click on my variables I can see my account name, my nickname, my subnet name, my uh, virtual network name and of course um, my virtual machine name as well and if I scroll down you can see here it's created those resources for us I've got seven resources that it's created but I just wanted to uh, show you how to read a JSON file so when they talk about JSON that's what they're talking about if I went back into my um, resource group and we went back into my quick lab template you can see here my virtual machine has been created and if I click on my virtual machine you can see that my virtual machine is up and running and it took a really quick time to do that it didn't take long to deploy I can go ahead and click connect and of course I can go ahead and download that RDP client and then I can go ahead and click download RDP file and that would go ahead and download that RDP file for me I'll go ahead and uh, open that RDP file by clicking that and that would open up that And as you can see, it didn't take too long to deploy, maybe a minute, two minutes at the most. I'm going to click go to resource. And as you can see here, we can start doing our data sharing. If I went into my resource group and clicked on my template lab resource group, you can see there it's created stuff for us automatically to get up and running. And there's my demo data share that I've just created. And I could select on there and start sharing my data. So it's absolutely amazing that I could have deployed that in such a short time again at the end of the day guys if you are finished your lab just go back into your resource group go ahead and select your uh, resource group highlight it right mouse click select copy and click delete and go ahead and paste that in and delete that resource group because we're in a lab environment remember we pay for what we use so the whole idea is to clean up behind us so that's how we go about um, cleaning up our resources so again the resources won't take very long to clean up this will be really quick and we can see here from the bell notification what resources were uh, completed successfully and what's currently happening as and as you can see we're currently deleting that resource group so we'll just give it a minute or two to complete the deletion and then we'll do a wrap up and as you can see it didn't take long it successfully deleted that resource group so I'm going to click dismiss and hit refresh and there we go we've tidied up our lab behind us i'd like to thank you guys for subscribing to my youtube channel thank you so much for supporting me on linkedin you guys are just awesome again a huge thank you to all the developers and it professionals uh, that have posted up fantastic templates for us to use in github as well as the quick start templates i'd like to, again to thank you for taking the time to uh, watch the video and you guys just be awesome, you Azure gurus.